All the faithful in Poland recently gathered to commemorate Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament, the first Congress of Perpetual Adoration brought together faith leaders and experts on Eucharistic miracles. They gathered late last week in an effort to strengthen the faith of Catholics in Poland. The initiative was organized by our partners at EWTN Poland. Joining us now from Poland is Ivo Bender, Regional Manager of EWTN in Central and Eastern Europe. Ivo, great to see you again. Uh, first off, tell us a little bit more about this event, why you put it together, and what was the reaction? Well, thank you for having me. It's always good to be uh, with you. And, well, uh, the event really was marking the uh, fifth anniversary of EWTN in Poland. Uh, and uh, I must say that the uh, uh, the guys from EWT in Poland were very nervous, very, very worried, uh, but it turns out that uh, it was a great success. Um, there was probably about 2,000 people in attendance, uh, and uh, also it's the, the most important thing is that it was uh, connected with the first Adoration Congress. Uh, well, maybe uh, uh, it was the, the first step into a, um, into an annual event, hopefully. Uh, and uh, you know, we had uh, we had very very positive reactions. We had uh, uh, great speakers. Uh, we had lots of people. But the most important thing, of course, was that in the center of of this all uh, was the Eucharist. Absolutely. I know you uh, chose to name the event after a quote from Pope Pius IX on the importance of the Eucharist. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, you know, I think we, uh, we don't remember uh, this pope, whose uh, pontificate was, uh, in terms of length, second only to St. Peter's. He was, a, he was an absolutely uh, colossal figure of the 19th century. Um, and uh, it was a very difficult for the Poles because there was no Poland in the 19th century. Poland was carved up by Russia, Prussia, and Austria in the late 18th century. And uh, Pius IX uh, was probably the greatest advocate of the Polish cause during the 19th century. Eva, we are just about out of time, but quickly I want to ask you about this. I know there were several initiatives, uh, including the blessing of motorcyclists. What more can you tell us about that? Very briefly, uh, it is the beginning, official beginning of the motorcycle season in Poland. So uh, about six to 700 motorcyclists, especially from the uh, lower Silesia, the western part of Poland, came to this beautiful mo monastery of uh, Krzeszów, an old Cistercian monastery. And uh, they just want to uh, show their faith uh, uh, and uh, begin their season uh, in, a, in a holy way and also pray for those who, uh, 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 who lost their lives uh, uh, because, you know, let's face it, it is not uh, a, a pastime for the, uh, uh, for the uh, people who are not, uh, who are, shall we say, they're not risk averse. So uh, I think that uh, increases their uh, their zeal for the for the Catholic faith. Beautiful moment. However, when they started their uh, their engines all at the same time in the uh, in the churchyard, uh, it was uh, it was quite a uh, quite an event. And uh, I I must say I had to to to, to sort of uh, find a more secure and and, and quieter location. Well, Evo, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. We always appreciate it. Evo Bender, Regional Manager of EWTN in Central and Eastern Europe. Thank you again. Thank you very much.